VBA. Control shift enter or a macro wave. Well, there's my G on the CSE. Billy J getting down with the VBA. Oh my, it's a dueling XL time. Stand by, it's a dueling XL time. Oh my, it's dueling XL time. Hey, welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jellin from Mr. Excel. I'll be joined by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is our episode 170. Put an apostrophe before every number. All right, today's question sent in by Michael. Michael has 20,000 rows of data and over in column A is an asset ID. He needs to send this data from Excel into some other software and the importer for that software is expecting an apostrophe before the asset ID. And before I jump into how to solve this, let's talk about that apostrophe for a second. I'm just going to go to a new workbook here. Of course, if we type in 123, it's a number, but if we do apostrophe 123, that tells Excel, don't treat this as a number, treat this as text. I'm going to do two other ones. This goes back to the days of Lotus 123. The caret used to center the number and the quotation mark used to right justify the number. Now, it appears here that Excel has only picked up the apostrophe, uh, but really, really obscure. If we go to File, and then Options, and then Advanced, and then in Advanced, I'm going to go all the way down to the very bottom, third from the bottom, Transition Navigation Keys, turn that back on for Lotus compatibility. Then uh, the 123, of course, works. Apostrophe 123 still works. Carrot 123 also starts to work. and uh, quotation mark one two three will work as well uh, so that's interesting well it's interesting in kind of the cliff clavin kind of way i don't think anyone would ever turn on the formula evaluation keys just to be able to have a quick way to uh, left or center or right justify but it makes me wonder when i see michael's question if this goes back to the days if this import software was written back in the days of lotus one two three when that uh, apostrophe was used to denote a text cell i'm guessing I'm guessing, Michael didn't say this, that he has to export to a CSV uh, and that apostrophe must get exported out there. So how am I going to solve this? I'm going to go to VBA, Alt F11, I'll insert a module and these three tiny lines of code here for each cell in selection. The cell.formula is equal to, in quotes, an apostrophe, ampersand, cell.value, and then next, right? Alt F11 to go back to Excel. I'm going to assign it to a shortcut key, so Alt F8 will get me a list of all my macros. There's my macro called Add It, Options. Uh, boy, I'm just going to do uh, Control, Control T for text, even though that already makes things into a table. This is, you know, kind of a one-time use thing, uh, and then it'll go away. All right, so all I have to do then is select my range of cells, Control Shift down arrow, and press Control T, and just like that, we've added the apostrophe. All right, Mike, let's see what you have. Thanks, Mr. Excel. Oh, VBA. You know, before Excel 2013, I don't even know how I would have done this without VBA. But watch this, Excel 2013 rocks. I'm going to Alt-I-C to insert a column. Right arrow, Control-C, left arrow, Control-V, down arrow. And watch this, apostrophe, and I'm looking at the number 90513, enter, apostrophe, and you are not going to believe this. Flash fill picks it up. If I hit enter, I will accept this ghost list, enter. Now, flash fill doesn't work for everything, but control down arrow, if you look at every single one, every single one is exactly perfect. Control home, because if you're doing something simple like inserting a character with these five numbers to the right, it works perfectly. Now, right arrow and Alt, E, D for delete, C for column, and Enter. There you go. Throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, that's brilliant, Mike. Flash fill. Of course, you have to have a heading up there. The heading can be anything you want, and then any text. And that number, 90513. But I was surprised that it worked for you because uh, Chad at Microsoft, who worked on Flash Fill, uh, says that he doesn't like to automatically do Flash Fill uh, for numbers because it's too hard for Excel to get confused. And sure enough, uh, it's not kicking in here. But when it doesn't kick in, and you know that it should be able to kick in, uh, just go to that cell and do Control-E, and they will.
fill, fill down. There you go, a couple of cool different ways to solve this problem. Well, thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun. It's Dueling Excel time.